Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this little bird card. And I'll be starting out with the Distress Stain in Antique Linen. And I'm just gonna take a piece of six by four and a half watercolor paper on the smooth side, and I'm gonna spray the antique, with so a little bit of water and then the antique linen. And then I'm gonna take a thick brush and I'm just gonna kind of brush it back and forth because I wanna make sure to get color throughout. And I don't mind the streakiness at all. So what I need to do is go ahead and just dry this now. Now that I've got it dry, I'm going to start adding some texture to the paper and I'm gonna be using this little sponge. That's just a stain on there. There's no actual ink that will come off. I'm gonna start with the antique linen again in an oxide and I'm gonna give it a little bit of water spray and I'm gonna dip that part of the sponge into there. And I'm just gonna start sponging on in random places the antique linen. Okay, that's all I need to do on that one. Very, This is a very, very simple technique. It's just you need the sponge. And next I'm gonna go in with some forest moss because this is gonna tie everything together on my card and you'll see as we go. And same thing, I'm just dipping my sponge into the watery ink and sponging it onto the surface. So there we've already got a textured surface, but we're gonna take it a step further. I'm just gonna wipe off my sponge here and I'm gonna go in with just plain water. So I can lift some of that color so I get you know a little bit more dimension and kind of spread those colors around. And then I go ahead and dry that um, because the next thing I'm gonna be doing is stenciling. Um, I do wanna trim this down to the size I'm gonna want it so that my stencils are placed properly. So I'm gonna cut it down to five and a quarter by four, making sure it's nice and even. And I'm gonna grab my Tim Holtz stencil here and this is, um, well, I'll list it in the description box below, but it's just a florist stencil. And I'm gonna take and lay a caddy corner there onto uh, the top right corner, and you can do any corner you want. I'm gonna go back in with the forest moss and a brush. Looking for my blending brush here. I've got one for oxides and one for um, inks. I've got my oxide and blending brush, and I'm just gonna kind of blend in that corner there. And not nothing too perfect, just, just kind of get the color down. The point is, is this is just another way to kind of spotlight something you want to be, you know, accentuated. And in my case, it's going to be my centerpiece, which you'll see in a moment. And then I go ahead and I deepen down the edges as well with the same forest moss. So simple, just two colors, antique, antique linen and forest moss. And there I've got my background panel, pretty simple. I'm just go ahead and wipe up my mess here. And I'm gonna lift up my mat, get it out of the way, and set this background aside, and I'm gonna grab my sidekick. I'm gonna make sure I'm in camera here, and I'm gonna grab the same watercolor paper, but this, side, this time I'm using the bumpy side, and I'm gonna trim it down to the size that'll fit my um, my sidekick uh, plates. And what I'm gonna be using is this little cardinal from last year's December with Simon Says Stamps where uh, they gave away, Tim designed and gave away this, um, this little cardinal die set. And it's still relevant and I think it'll be relevant forever. Um, <laughs> because, you know, who doesn't love a cardinal? And, and they're great for Christmas, winter, sympathy, whatever. In my case, we're doing a holiday card. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run that through. And I'm going to go forwards and I'm going to go backwards. Um, because this is watercolor, it is a little bit thicker and I want to make sure it cuts all the way through. So there I've got my little bird. Set my die aside, pick out these little pieces, make sure I don't lose them because they are tiny. Poke out the little nose hole and I'm just going to set them aside over here on my glass for now until I get everything cut out. 
there's this tiny little beak and there's his body, the base of his body. And then next I'm gonna go in and get the rest of him. So I got that on two sheets of paper that are what, two and a quarter by maybe three and a half or maybe four. And again, I run that um, forwards and backwards. Um, I love my sidekick. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's just so handy to have. Now I'm going to be cutting out some foliage and um, I did try attempt it with my sidekick, but in the long run, it just, the foliage was too intricate to get all the cuts. So I end up cutting it on my um, Vagabond 2. And I'm just here poking out the little holes that um, belong in the bot in the feathers and getting everything set aside here. And if, if it gets stuck like that, I just flip it over and, and pick it out with my tweezers. I don't want to rub my brush. I know there, I know you can do that. I don't want to do that. I just, I'm kind of mad at my brush because I lost my magnet. I have no idea where the magnet went to it. It just <laughs> grew legs and walk away. I don't even know how it came off the bottom. But anyways, just easier to just poke them out there. Now I'm going to just move everything aside here. Move my side kit. Clean off my extra paper. I'm going to pull my mat back down. And I'm just gonna lay my little bird pieces onto my silicone mat. And you'll see why I like it on the silicone mat. Um, but I'm gonna grab this foliage set um, from Tim Holtz. And I'm gonna grab two pieces here. And they're probably the most intricate pieces in the set. <laughs> so because they are so intricate, I'm going to use the full sheet of paper and I'm gonna use my precision base plate to cut those out. And you can see it's very, very warped. I need a new one. I need new cutting plates all the way around, maybe after Christmas. And I actually run that through my dye machine four times just to make sure that every single bit gets cut out because I do fight with the one you see me poking out now um, infinitely. So I do like to poke out my pieces, not on my little silicone mat because they like to stick to it and it just, it's hard to pick them up off of there. So I just move the mat out of the way. Pick that out of there. And you can see I've got a lot of tiny little pieces to pick out of the, the one, but they pick out just fine. So that uh, precision plate is a, is a really handy thing to have for um, dies like this. So there's that one. Now we'll go ahead and poke out all the little, all little holes from this one. I'm, I'm uh, getting excited to be almost done with my Christmas cards um, and put away my Christmas stuff because I probably, I have a full tote worth of Christmas stuff that is, um, you know, kind of taking up a lot of space in my craft room right now. So I'm looking forward to finishing up Christmas and, and starting on everything else, starting on everything new. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread these out and I make sure they're all turned the correct way and I'm going to ink them up. And so I'm gonna use Simon Hurley's Guppy for the nose or the beak, I should say. And I'm just gonna kinda lay it in the ink and then use a piece of scrap paper to push down on it. Make sure I've got good color coverage on there. Now I'll pick that up and set it aside and move my guppy. And then I'm going to use VersaFine Claire for the black face. And same thing, I'm gonna pick up a piece of scrap and push it down into the black ink. And then pick it back up and set it down so it can dry. And see, the only thing when you do that, you don't end up getting like the curvy sides. So this is where I love using this mat. I'm gonna grab just my little black dauber and just daub around it and it covers all that, all those edges. So next I'm going to work on the base, the Cardinal's 
body based. I'm just moving everything around so that I don't accidentally get the wrong color somewhere. I'm going to be using uh, Gina K and Fresh Asparagus for the bird's main body base because it's a nice deep dark green. It's a beautiful green. I love this green. It's one of my favorites. And I'm getting it pretty thick on there. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna put that away and I am going to, and I'm looking for an ink here that I can't seem to find. Um, I'm gonna do the the bird's body and wing in Simon Hurley ink in the color Bee Sting. And I like to do these with dye ink versus, um, you know, like the pigments, the, um, I don't know, what are you calling? <laughs> oh my gosh, just, it's, we don't have, in the Tim Holtz, we don't have like the shade of red that I'm looking for. So I combine all my inks, I use everything I have to get the colors that I want. So what I wanna do to deepen down the color on the outer wing is I'm gonna grab Simon Hurley in Wolf and I'm gonna go over the outer wing with it and just a little bit deepen down the red on the um, mid part of the body. And I do take my little black dauber and just deepen down the feet there and the tail with the black ink. Okay, so we've got the bird parts. Now all we need to do is color our foliage. And for that, I'm going to be using the Versifying Claire in Shady Lane. So it's a little bit different green. And for this one, I use my brush. It's not that different, and it's in the same kind of, oh, same kind of color family. So it's got kind of an olivey tint to it. It's a warmer color, I guess you could say, versus a cooler one. Okay, I've got all my coloring done. Now I'm gonna move everything aside here so I can wipe off my mat and start to assemble our little cardinal. I've got all these little pieces here. And I'm just using a little bit of ink um, stamp cleaner to clean off the ink. And I have to remember to do this more than I do remember doing it. So here's my background piece and whoops, I got something on it, but that's okay because I already made one. I generally will do a practice run before I actually film a video. Um, you know, I still make mistakes even if I practice, but <laughs> it just kind of helps for me to kind of get a design in mind to work. And I am going to be using glue to put this together. So first I'm going to glue the mid part of his body on top of the base of his body. I'm just going to use my tweezers to kind of help me position that. Just gonna lay it down right on top so it matches up. And I'm going to get off that little glue gobber that came through. And then I'm going to do the little black part of his face. One thing I love about this dye, you know, it's it's basically a colorized dye, but it's super easy to put together. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Some of the ones are so complex for me, I'm like, nah, I'm just not. And I get a little red on his beak, but that's okay. I'm not mad. He's not going to have to be perfect. And just kind of looking where I need to place that wing. Laying some glue down. And what I'll do is I'll just tap some of that glue off before I lay it down so it doesn't ooze through. And there, our bird is done, easy. So now it's time to put everything all together. And so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to grab a card base because I want to, um, I like to put my background onto my card base before I um, actually uh, you know, glue everything down. But I'm just kind of looking here at my placement how I'm gonna put everything. Just kind of, you know, this is the thought process that you go through when you're composing a card, and it is, you are composing something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually grab a red card base, one of the pre-made ones I made out of some, you know, some paper pack that I got. Um, but I'm not happy about the shade of red that it is. 
So I'm going to alter it to make it kind of, you know, not match, but be in harmony with what we've got as our card front. So I'm just going to tape off that one edge there so that I don't get ink on everything. And I'm going to go back in with the basting and just simply color the edges. And it doesn't take long at all and it makes a huge difference. And since the card's red already, I, I could have probably done this on a piece of white, but the this makes the red super deep because the paper's already red. And I forget sometimes that when I do this, it shakes the heck out of my table. Let's lay that on there. Oh, yes. Much, much better. Love it, love it. All right. Let's get all these things out of the way. I'm going to pull my mint tape off. But first, I'm going to clean off my ink again. I'll go ahead and pull my mint tape. And then I'm going to glue down my card base. Uh, I'm going to glue my card front to my card base. Um, and there's a little edge hanging over that's just bugging me, so I'm trimming it off. You can leave it, but I'm just super picky about that, and I like them to be nice and even. There we go. And I'm just using my Reptile Adhesive to glue this down. And y'all, if you're going to buy some, better get on it because once it's freezing, that stuff doesn't ship. Um, I've, got a, I've got a pretty good stock of it. I've got enough to last me throughout the winter. And nope, I don't work for them and I don't have any kind of affiliates whatsoever. So purchase where you may. <laughs> I get mine from Amazon. You can buy it directly from the website. So I decide that I'm going to be putting a sentiment on here. Um... So I'm not going to put my bird smack dab in the middle. And I'm going to be using a Christmas sentiment uh, from Tim Holtz, and I'm hunting for it. Um, I love this set of sentiments right here. I love these the best. And I'm going to grab the best wishes for a holiday season. I feel like it goes perfectly with Little Bird. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Now, I'm not going to heat emboss or anything because I already glued my card um, front down to my card base. Uh, so I'm just kind of making sure that that's nice and even, and I'm using my little Simon Hurley um, acrylic stamp platform. And I'm going to do it not in black ink. I'm going to end up doing this in a brown ink. And I'm just looking for the right brown. I've got it buried here somewhere. You know me. I've got stuff everywhere. Where are you? What I'm looking for is the Verse Fine Claire in the color pine cone, and there it is. And just kind of eyeballing that again, looking at where I need to stamp it, making sure I've got plenty of ink, and I'm just gonna go for gold and lay that stamp down and hope for the best. I'm not that great at this, but I'm getting better. Perfect, I love it. All right, so let's finish assembling this card. Okay, kind of just getting an eyeball placement of how I want my greenery. Because I need something for him to be standing on. He can't be floating in midair without his wings sticking out. Nor can he float with his wings sticking out. So what I'm going to be using is artist tack to tack down the leaves. I'll, I'll glue the bird down. But it is very difficult to get glue on these things without getting glue everywhere. So I just lay it down on the artist tack. And some people use a Xyron or whatever. I don't have a Xyron. I don't think I'm going to buy a Xyron. I'm running out of machinery room. But I'm just pressing that down really tight onto there. And then I'll just go ahead and take my tweezers. And I like to bend the artist tack paper itself before I pull something off. And then I'm going to set my bird on here again so I kind of know where I need, where things need to be. And I'm going to go ahead and just push that down. And then I'll grab my other twig that he's standing on. Turn it sideways in my tweezers, kind of, there we go. And just kind of press that down. Just make sure they're both good and pressed down. 
move aside my artist tack and I, I reuse that until it runs out of sticky. And I'm gonna just go ahead and use some regular glue to glue him on and of course I left my glue open too long and it clogged up on me. No problem. That's what Gloria's little pretty pin thingy is for besides keeping it moist. And I'm just putting a tiny bit on his feet, not too much. Cause I don't want it oozing out. And we're just gonna turn my card so that I can get a good position for my hand to lay him down. Lay him down on here and that's that. Here's our little Cardinal Christmas card. Appreciate you coming to see my videos and um, I'd love it if you would give me a thumbs up. And um, if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.